Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we'll learn about mat button. In this series, we are learning about angular material, and in the previous episodes, we learned about how to use, how to install angular material in our application, how to use some basic components. Today, we will learn how to use angular material button in our applications. This is part of the full tutorial series with live examples. Before we proceed with the practicals, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have any technical doubts, queries, please drop them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you. Let's get started with practical. So I have my application up and running here and it does not do anything now not yet we will add a lot of things here to this and let's get started with it so the first thing you will do is open your editor and first thing we'll do is import all the material modules into a single file so that we don't have to import each one of them individually you can get this from angular material site or i can provide you with the github link just drop me a comment once you have imported the modules, in this case, we are looking at mat button module in this tutorial. So we will first have to import the mat button module into our app module. So we have imported here. You can see line number 12. And then we have included it in the list of modules in map mat button module. And we have taken this module and included it in our app module.ts. Alternatively, you can only include modules that you need. So this way, either you can import all the modules in one go or you can individually also import the modules. This is just for your explanation. You don't need this. Now, that being said, I'm not using it, but I'm just leaving it here. So we have imported the demo material module here and we are good to use our angular material button let's see how to use it so first let's just put a simple button and let's call it login and when you go to your app component.html you should see a simple html button nothing fancy about it what makes it better now let's add mat button attribute so once you have done that now you would be able to see that the button is now a matte button let's see that so we see here there is a hover there is beautiful design that it shows up so let's add some more and there are, i'll show you the different types of buttons we can implement so we have different types of buttons that we can use we can use raised button we can use buttons as links we can use primary we can use secondary so we can customize all of that so let's learn one by one so first thing is let's make it color equal to primary so this will be your primary color that you have defined in your template or your theme so you see now it's blue color this was black this is blue now we want it to be background color so for that or let's see, complete this first we can also use secondary color so now you should see secondary color all right oh it's not secondary my friends it's called accent in material design so let's see it should be pink color yeah so blue color primary pink color secondary so far so good let's give it a break so that we go to next line now again we'll use button but this time we are going to use a new attribute called raised button all right so now you will see a background color right nice so now if you want to add a background color you will add again primary or secondary depending upon what type of button you want so now it shows the blue color because that's the primary color similarly you can add accent which is your secondary color so blue and pink indigo and pink you can also use other available things like 
one so this is again something similar sort of secondary thing but what if we want to make this button disabled just add the attribute disabled so now we see this is disabled now similarly you want a something which has a beautiful let's say stroke you want to add you want to add a flat button so there are different options available now one of the example i'll cover right away again after this is using a button with flat which means now uh, they can be either flat or they can be fab so i'm going to use first fab so this is how you define a basic fab button so it would be nothing but it's in circle so we can see it's in circle similarly you can give color equal to primary and this will be your primary button now which is circle so this is how you can use various angular buttons material design buttons in your applications all you have to do is import the matte button module and we can use matte button direct attribute we can define our color we can define the raised bu button with background color we can use circular round buttons using the fab option you can also use alternative which is flat which is nothing but again something which would not have the shadow kind of thing to it so we can use that as well there are some questions that uh, people have asked about how do we include icons we can include icons as well i'll show you that in just a bit so just call it flat and then button and let's call it second uh, accent so we can see here now this is our primary fab button this is our second accent which is a flat so you see the difference between it this has a shadow kind of thing it doesn't so these are different ways you can use material design matte material angular button do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll be happy to help you for free thank you so much for joining in this tutorial i will see you on the other side don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you